Hi everybody, we're here at the University of South Carolina in Columbia on the banks of the Congaree River. We're here for a Neuro Hackathon sponsored by Chris Warden, talking about some of the newest developments in brain imaging visualization. Along the way, we'll learn about some other packages and applications such as EasyBids and NeuroDesk. And we'll talk a little bit with the developers about some of the latest trends in neuroimaging analysis. What our group is trying to do is it's a bunch of people who are interested in looking at medical imaging and trying to use machine learning to do a better job of, let's say, finding people who have brain injury, finding how healthy a brain is, trying to segment gray and white matter, and a lot of the traditional solutions that we've been doing with conventional image processing, we now think that machine learning can do very well. And so the idea of this group was to get a group of people together who are all experts in this and talk about how we can work together as a community to solve a lot of the problems that it seems machine learning has tremendous potential to solve. There are a ton of great visualization libraries out there for web-based viewing of medical imaging data. And there are some platforms for processing, but it would be super nice if we would have the ability to have algorithms that work with all of these visualization frameworks. And that's where the boostlet.org platform comes in, where you write bookmarklets that function with a variety of different web-based visualization frameworks. So you write your algorithm once and can run it on pages like the Open Neuro Repository or the National Cancer Institute Imaging Data Commons with just a click. Almost a decade ago, we started with visualizing medical imaging data on the web and we made this framework called XTK, goxtk.com, it's an open source framework and we made this application called slicedrop.com. Now, in our days, WebGL is everywhere. Now we have fantastic software like neview.js, due to the WebGL version 2 for 3D texture rendering, very fast loading of medical imaging data, all kinds of formats. So with the Boostlet uh, platform, we want to interface with them and enable processing right there on the edge. I'm a postdoc research fellow from the University of Queensland in Brisbane, Australia. Um, and together with Stefan Bollman, who is the project lead on NeuroDesk, we've developed this analysis environment for neuroimaging. It provides um, containerized access to a lot of the neuroimaging tools that many users are already familiar with but it does this in a very reproducible way under the hood relying on containers. And it's, it's, the idea is that it's meant to be very easy to um, deploy across different computing environments. So from notebooks to workstations um, and on the cloud. So there's a few different ways that you can interact with, with the NeuroDesk environment. We provide a Neuro Desktop, which is a complete Linux desktop. And I mean, you can, although it's a Linux desktop, you can install it on a Linux, Windows, or Mac OS machine. And this provides users with a very familiar sort of environment to access these neuroimaging tools. Um, on the other hand, we also have a JupyterLab interface to NeuroDesk where users can write interactive Jupyter notebooks to really create something of a reproducible paper, loading different neuroimaging modules, running an analysis, and producing some figures. Those are the main ways that you can interact with NeuroDesk. I'm the lead developer of EasyBids, which is a web-based bids conversion tool. EasyBids attempts to lower the barrier of entry for researchers who may not necessarily want to have to learn the ins and outs of a new bids conversion tool. And EasyBids lowers the barrier of entry by not requiring any installation or programming, and it provides these guardrails for users so that when they are trying to describe their data, they're staying in line with the bid specification. So that way what they will get out of it is a bids compliant data set and they didn't necessarily have to learn anything new or have a deep familiarity with bids itself. What it does is that it greatly enhances data sharing, reproducibility, the ability to generate and curate large data sets. And then lastly, EasyBids aims to be interoperable with other platforms, currently the BrainLife platform and openneuro.org. 